Have you ever wanted to enjoy the simplicity of 2D tile maps, but also enhance the tiles within it with a 3D look? I'm GameMakerPixel, and let's begin. The first step in this process is going to be drawing an isometric outline. To make this outline, I am only going to use 1 over 2 and vertical lines. These lines are parallel to the lines in isometric graph paper. Notice how the hexagon formed by the isometric pattern matches up with a wire mesh of a 3D cube. This basically means that anything drawn in this hexagon would be smaller than a 1x1x1 3D cube. Take this tile, for example. It fits neatly inside the cube and looks like a normal isometric tile. However, this other tile does not fit inside the hexagon and it's just kind of weird looking. Now on to coloring. I just made this tile look like a piece of grass. However, if you wanted to make it look like it was the same material throughout, you could try using different shades of the same color. The implementation. I've already exported this file and put it into Godot, but you can use the sidebar in the Piscal editor to do this. The first thing we're going to do is create a tileset node. Next, in the tileset parameter, I'm going to create a new tileset. Once editing the tileset, just add the sprite using this button as shown. Then create a new tile and select the sprite. Now, as you can see, we have a tile set. However, it's not isometric yet. To make it isometric, we need to click this button in the corner and switch it to isometric. However, if we place tiles now, you'll notice they seem to be ascending. And this is because the entire tile is being shown and we only want to see the top face. Since the top face only takes up half of the tile, we want to set the tile size to 32 by 16 since our tile is 32 by 32. But what if you want to have two layers? This can be achieved by using two tile map nodes as they will overlap each other. If you enjoyed this tutorial or have any questions, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.